first time that we feed them was like three weeks ago because the whale shark was at Pe Pescador for like seven days in a row. Uh, the whale shark came here in Karangsama. Then some fishermen tried to feed them. Actually, it was me who told the mayor that we spotted the whale shark at Pescador. So we called all the fishermen or even the collectors that collect tickets there at Pescador to bring we up every morning when they go to Pescador for collecting uh, the tickets. So at the same time, when the whale shark chew up, they can also feed them. Well, personally, I dislike the idea of feeding the shark because that will interrupt their natural habit of feeding. But since they started already there in Oslo, and they are practicing it, and it attracts a lot of tourists, so, well, what can I do? So we just have to follow them. Because Small Ball is known as a tourist destination. So if we can have the whale shark stay here permanently, then that will be a good attraction for, for the place, for the tourists. So that's why we're trying also to uh, feed the whale shark, the same thing as what we did in Oslo. Then the municipal, the municipal officials or the Sangguniang Bayan of Mualboa passed an ordinance uh, regulating the human interaction with the whale sharks. Then we called up all the stakeholders like the fishermen's organization, the barangay captains in the seven coastal barangays here in Mualboal, as well as the dive shop operators, so we can discuss more uh, thoroughly with regards to the regulation on interacting with the whale shark. Well, most of them is uh, we limit the number of divers, swimmers to watch the whale shark as well as the distance where they, where do they have to stay when they are watching the whale shark. And also, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, revision or provision in that ordinance that really protects the whale sharks.